Hey everyone, it's Ann Manera, and we're back again today with another Color Along, Color Along Variety Coloring Book Volume 19. Today's topic is stained glass, and I'll be using Crayola crayons. Let's get started. So simple, simple, simple pimple. Crayola crayons. All we're gonna do is color this page in. We're gonna turn it into stained glass by really creating a very heavy line on the outline of this page. I have a piece of paper behind my page as usual, and I'm just gonna get started. I have a brand new box of Crayola crayons. Who, love, who doesn't love a brand new box of Crayolas? And I'm gonna get started with my green color. This is called yellow green, and I'm going to start here with this section right here. Now, I'm not sure if we should color this page where it has uh, different colors for each of these sections or this shape, or if we should create a pattern or, I don't know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments what you think. There we go. So I think I'm gonna at least start with this. I'm gonna go from here to here, and then we'll see what happens as I'm moving along. So this is kind of a mandala style and um, a much bigger style mandala. And it's fun because it's got some bigger shapes. And then I'll go with this one right here. So I'm already kind of creating that pattern of the every other, if you notice. So we've got green, white, green, white, green, white, green. This is gonna be green right here. And maybe we'll use a dark green. Sometimes I feel like I gravitate uh, towards the same colors all the time. Does this happen to you? I always reach for like a magenta or I always reach for, um, I don't, I reach for magenta a lot or a pink or a red. Um, so I like to sometimes try to push myself to use colors that I would not normally use. So I'm going to, I don't usually use a lot of greens in um, coloring. I When I'm painting, I seem to use a lot of green, but not when I'm coloring. So this one's just regular straight green. I call it straight green. Is that bad that I call it straight green? <laughs> I don't know. Imagine if the, the, there should be a set of pencils or crayons or something that says all of the colors are like, and I mean straight green. I mean it in a sense that it's just only green. It doesn't, like it's true green. It's the true sense of green. That's what I mean by that. I don't mean anything else by that. All right, so there is my green again. And I've got this color and this color for this one, right? I think blue would look good with this now that I'm really kind of looking at it. Um... I don't really want to add red to this because if I'm going to add red to this, then it's going to be a little Christmassy and we still have some time before Christmas is upon us. Weeks, right? What's today? Today's September 12th. So we still have some time. Boy, time's flying though. Time is flying. Summer's over. All right, so there's our green. And I'm going to go with the blue. This is blue green, blue, oh, beautiful, and cerulean. I really love cerulean. I think I'm going to go with that. Okay, so for cerulean, I'm going to go on the outer portion here. And I guess I will make it go all the way around as if there is a, a blue band or circle all the way around and it's kind of like it's the it's a na a nature palette i've got going on here so maybe i'll stick with that maybe i'll add some brown in this or um i don't know what other color maybe some yellow um you know another way that you can use you can make it look like up here to be stained glass is you can use crayons or well, yeah, let's say with crayons. Using crayons, then at the end, you could actually take some oil, whether it's a blending oil, a professional, like, you know, official oil for art, 
or you know regular old canola oil olive oil that type of thing or even baby oil and blend it and it will kind of look like it becomes translucent and it looks like it starts to really look like glass but today's effect we want to make sure that it looks like stained glass by darkening those lines darkening those outlines that are the lines that are around it so i've got that blue now we talked about using some yellow right so i'm just going to use regular yellow and i'm going to color within here within this little like you know triangular looking type situation we've got going on here And I guess I'll add some of that right here. And I talked about using brown because we're going to use kind of an earth palette for this. So I'm going to use some brown next in this area. I don't usually use brown when I'm coloring very much. Do you? I don't know why. I think when you're a kid, you, you, you tend to use these types of colors more than as an adult and i think our, our taste in colors or our faves change do you think that happens so color alongs continue to be every monday and thursday right here on my youtube channel new videos get posted every monday and thursday right here on my youtube channel at 10 a.m eastern time and every week we or every coloring session we are coloring from this book color along volume 19 color along volume 20 uh, will be starting sometime in october i'm not sure if it's going to start at the end of october or um yeah i'm not sure if i'm going to start it at the end of october or uh the beginning of november so stay tuned for that always uh, stay tuned for that and i mean more of the information on everything can also be found on my facebook page or on my website and all of the links to all of those all of those places are over in the comments in the comments in the description in the description of this video all right so we've got cerulean and don't forget we added this kind of blue here now let's see about adding blue somewhere else we don't want it to really touch so i'm going to add it here because i really like that color I love it <laughs> I really love it it's pretty I think if you add white to this it's even prettier but I won't it really looks like a powder blue I never really consider blue to be my favorite color but it's so hard to pick a favorite color all right let's see what other color should we use we've got some yellow green here uh, oh, this is green yellow i'm sorry but then we have yellow green which we already used and again we're sticking kind of with an earth palette so we could put some gray in here because that's earthy why not let's put gray let's put gray right here we don't usually see gray in a coloring page but let's add some gray gray can be a very pretty color because it um takes on the colors that it's next to so if you were going to use gray uh, next to purple for example it can actually start to have a lavender look so if you're using it next to blue it can have a bluish look so i think the gray is like uh the chameleon of the colors in the in the coloring in the color world um and i think that this is a, a great way uh to maybe change up what everything looks like i mean every color next to each other starts to look different anyway so what you pick for a color may start to look like um, it is a little different because it's it's next to something else. So if I was to go, if I was to put a red here, then it would make that blue look almost like a purplish color. So it depends what you're wearing, what what you're wearing. It depends what you're wearing, and then when you get to color it, it's like you're coloring what you're wearing. So this is. Uh, yellow green and what that means is that it's more yellow than it is green if it was green yellow then that would mean that it is more green than it is yellow so that's how that works now we've got this section here and I think I'm going to go back with this green our regular green verde I always forget that the names are also in Spanish on these crayons So 
So we've got this green color here just for this last section. And I have my brand new black crayon right here. I'm so excited about that. Gotta love a brand new pack of, of crayons. I always seem to break them. They're never the same once they once the point is gone. I don't know about you, but even when you sharpen it in that big sharpener on the back of the box, to me it's just not the same. All right, so now we're going to go on to our stained glass, glass portion. I'm going to take this black crayon and simply go over these lines. doesn't make a difference which direction you go or which order you go in. We just want to kind of get that black line to represent the lead that you would see in stained glass that's between the glass. I always wanted to learn how to uh, create stained, work with stained glass. Does anybody work with stained glass that's watching? I think it's beautiful. I live in an area where there are, all, there are a lot of homes with uh, stained glass windows. And my house doesn't have one, but I really wish it did. I don't think people really appreciate the beauty or the craftsmanship that goes into it. So see how it's just kind of taken on that look? And you could go over this with a marker if you wanted to also. can mix it up. I'm trying to press as hard as I possibly can without breaking my crayon because I tend to break them. I must have a Herculean grip or something. Um, just finishing up these last ones. And I'm going to leave the background white because it's not really what this is all about. And you could go back over this with oil if you wanted to. Uh, make it really translucent. But I really think that this definitely has the look of stained glass. You could cut this out completely, pop a little hole in, this, in the top of it, and definitely hang it in a window. Um, it would look complete. And this, don't forget, this book has copies, uh, two copies of every page. So do two of these, pop them behind one another, uh, and they could just kind of hang, hang in the window, hang from a tree if you wanted to, um, and or hang on a Christmas on a Christmas tree would be kind of cool. And this is stained glass. Hey, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Catch you later.